According to the College Board, the average cost of tuition and fees for the current school year, almost $35,000 at a private college and over $25,000 for a public school. That's a lot of money, but you know there are resources available that can help you find money to offset the cost. Our next guest, Lorraine Santa Lucia, graduated debt free from VCU and is here to tell us all about an upcoming scholarship and college fair that can help you and your bottom line when it comes to higher education. Love your name, by the way. That's a great name. Uh, all right, so uh, I think it was about a year ago, Cheryl and I had a lady on the show who cut out coupons and she got all her groceries for free and we thought it was great, but it didn't seem very practical. You, this is, you're saying free college. How in the world can you do this? And are we going to be like staying up all hours of the night making sure we're doing all these different things? Well, uh, part of what I do is I run a nonprofit called Scholarship Sharing. I actually started the foundation back when I was in school myself. Um, scholarship Sharing helps students with getting connected to these scholarship foundation resources. Many students don't know where to look when they're starting to find scholarships and financial aid, and so we put everything in one place for them. Um, scholarship Sharing helps students with our scholarship database through our uh, presentations that we do throughout the year at schools and colleges throughout the state. Um, and we also provide scholarships through our foundation as well. We've given over $33,000 in scholarships. It's amazing. We first met you years ago before you started this when you came out of school debt free and you said you wanted to share how to do this. Can you kind of tell a little bit about your story and how you were able to graduate without owing any money when you got out? Absolutely. So uh, I actually graduated debt free three times. I got my uh, I got my bachelor's from Virginia Commonwealth University in communications, my post baccalaureate in nonprofit management, and I'm also currently working on my master's degree at Old Dominion University. And I did this all with scholarships and federal aid. I didn't have to take out any student loans, and I did so by finding all of these scholarship resources, which now, through scholarship sharing, is my goal to help other students learn about what resources are out there as well. And there are lots of resources out and different scholarships for things you and I may not imagine there is a scholarship for. Oh, absolutely. There's scholarships for being a single parent, scholarships for being community service organizations, for participating in uh, student organizations, for athletics, for academics, but also for weird things like, for example, if you know how to be prepared for the zombie apocalypse now that we're coming up to Halloween. <laughs> There's a scholarship for that? There's a scholarship for that. <laughs> and the nice thing is your organization is out there kind of searching out all of these so that we don't have to do all that footwork. Exactly. Uh, scholarship sharing has scholarships through our scholarship database that we have on our website. But we also host events and programs that teach you about how to find these scholarships. Like the one coming up in Virginia Beach. So the fair that's coming up, when they get there, you actually help them move on down the line. Things like, I noticed headshots are included in this. We do. So, uh, we have a scholarship and college fair that we hold every year. This is actually our sixth year holding the event. Mm -hmm. um, our scholarship and college fair has colleges and nonprofits that have scholarship programs that can be used at any institution. Our colleges are waiving admissions fees and actually awarding scholarships to their schools on site. Um, we also have a photographer who's going to be coming to help students to get free headshots so that they can use them for their portfolios at later um, years. Um, our scholarship foundation also provides a scholarship raffle that a student can win a raffle scholarship completely at random. Um, we also offer scholarships with presentations. We teach you about how to find these scholarships through our financial aid representatives who teach you about them. There's a lot going on there. How much does it cost to come to this thing? It's free. Uh, we have no cost to attend. She said it was free. Didn't That's she? right. You yeah. come out this <laughs> debt free. And, and I mean, it's just a wonderful resource not only for, for students and parents and maybe even adults heading back to school. Absolutely. Uh, this event is open for students of all ages, uh, students from middle school, current um, high school students 9 through 12, college students and even graduate students can attend. If there are adults who are interested in returning back to school, this is open for them as well. We have scholarships available for students of all age ranges and it doesn't matter where you want to go to school. Part of what we do through the scholarship and college fair is to connect you to what resources are, are available and there's also many different opportunities to meet people who can teach you more about how to find them. Well, thank you so much, Laura. Rain. The 6th Annual Scholarship and College Fair at Virginia Wesleyan University is coming up on October 13th from noon to 5. Admission is free. They would like you to pre-register. We'll post a link on our show website early this afternoon, wtvr.com slash VTM.